hello guys in this video i will be explaining how to connect mysql database in spring boot application okay so i have written this blog you can go through this blog uh, all the links will be in description box as well as in comment box okay please go through it okay so we will be referring to this blog i have already coded this and uh, i have added it in my uh, project so all code have been added so the prerequisite is that you should be having mysql installed on your system basic knowledge of java and spring boot and project setup for existing application like for currently we are using our basic skeleton okay project which we have created you can go through it okay uh, we have also created a zip file for this okay you can download it from here and uh, unzip it and open that uh, open that uh, project in IntelliJ okay so I'm opening that I have already opened that project so here I will be explaining you how uh, these codes have been installed in our project like how we have used it so first of all we need to add mysql dependencies so mysql dependencies it says like if you are having if you are using maven you need to install it the dependencies in uh, pom.html okay so if you see here you can see those dependencies okay and uh, if you are using gradle you need to add this thing okay and in gradle it is it will be build.gradle okay so this step is optional where basically i am explaining you how to create a mysql database so in this video I have, i'll create a mysql database i have not created it so if you see here in my application dot property this is the same code but just the thing that i have re renamed everything whatever your database name and mysql username everything okay so you need to uh, replace all these things so I will be creating this thing okay so first of all I will be logging into mysql okay I'll paste this okay enter the password okay R currently right now I'm in mysql okay I'll create this thing my database as well as the username okay I have currently created it okay okay so right now we have completed our step two so now we are we will be configuring our database properties in application dot prop uh, properties dot or dot yaml file okay so currently we are having application dot properties and in here we have added this code so if you see here we have added this code where we have replaced our uh, database name with whatever we have currently created it and the username whatever we have created it and the password whatever we have added it here okay so if you see here these are the password this is the username and this is my uh, spring boot database okay so I will be uh, replacing it so it will be tutorial okay which I have created then it it was tutorial user and the password was password at the rate one two three let's save it okay now we have configured it now let's go to step four where we need to create data models and repositories so basically I'll give you one example of how to create a package as well as a file okay so you need to go in your project so this is your project basically okay here right click go to uh, new okay and in here you need to click on package once you click on package you need to give them a uh, package name so for this it is model okay so I'll be giving model here okay and my package folder basically it will create a folder okay then in that uh, folder I will be going again my new and Java class and in here I will be giving this uh, uh, class name okay so uh, this is my model so I will be giving it book so I have created this model in here 
and this is how it looks so basically i have just copy pasted everything okay everything is copy pasted okay so similarly i have created a package repository so if you see here i have created that repository okay and the uh, with the name java interface it should be interface so here if you see right click new and click on interface okay you can click on java class and just copy paste this okay it will take interface from this okay once you have added this thing now you need to create your service as well as controller okay so you need to go here again create a package and create a name with service okay and in here i have added this code basically so this is my uh, book service okay similarly i have created the controller okay so if you see here i have created that controller and in book controller i have added these controllers okay just copy paste it nothing else okay now let's run this thing okay so for running this uh, project you need to go in your project main application okay and in here you need to click on this and run so it will run the project okay so if you see here it is running the project and if your database and everything is correct you have given everything uh, properly in application.properties file your database name and password and username it will connect to your database okay so this step is basically you can use it on windows everything okay so everything will be working okay so right now my project is running if you see here my project has been started okay and it is on 8080 port okay so if you see here i need to go on postman okay so basically i will be creating html forms also examples okay so let's test it if everything is working or not so it says you need to go on uh, local host books okay so if i click on this or uh, i'll copy this okay you need to paste it here okay so and uh, click on send so basically it is get method and right now it is not giving any error okay it is giving an error okay so it gives an error there actually there is no uh, table does not exist okay it says table does not exist okay so uh, let's create it by going on post and let's pass this json copy go in body raw paste the code and in here click on json and send okay it is giving error again so it is basically saying like my database has been not created okay my table has not been created okay so basically you need to create your table okay once you create your table you need to pass this thing let's say i'll give you some example how you can do it right now i'm not creating that table okay so you need to create it okay so i'll be uh, adding this thing here so this is how you can go and go in terminal and you can go log in in mysql and create the table okay once you create it this will be start to work okay so basically here you will be getting all the data if you post it with this method and you need to add this thing and json and send it will add the data if you want to delete everything you can use this but the method will be here delete okay if you want to delete any one uh, book you can click on delete here you need to just pass the id which will be uh, you will be getting in get method once you add this thing okay and yeah, you can use delete book okay so this is how this code works okay i hope you like it thank you